I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Don't go through a breakup alone. Click on the link in the description below to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about no contact gone wrong. So one of the things that I get questions about all the time is the no contact rule. So in this video I thought I would clarify some mistakes that I constantly see with the rule. So what is no contact and why does it work? Well no contact is a very basic strategy and the reason that you do no contact is because if somebody breaks up with you you don't want to continue to pursue pursue them chase after them and potentially annoy them make them feel smothered and trapped um, so like I said it's a very basic strategy that you use when somebody breaks up with you. Now, all you do is you simply stop contacting them and you wait for them to reach out for you. I know that when you're going through a breakup this is incredibly difficult to do because you have tremendous amounts of separation anxiety. Your body literally feels like it's dying you are terrified that they're never going to come back to you and you're just going through tremendous amounts of stress and pain and I get it it's very confusing guys that's why I do this that's why I'm here and I do what I do I've been in your shoes I did not handle breakups well when I was in your shoes many many years ago and it just became a passion of mine to really understand it and to help you guys through it so I know when you're sitting at the other end of that computer, you're just watching video after video, but reach out to me. That's why I'm here. Go to AskCraig.net, sign up for coaching. I have two different options. You could do email coaching, you could do Skype coaching. Pick whichever option works best for you, but don't just stay there lost and confused. Go into your friends and family. They're going to give you bad advice. I, I'm sorry to say this, it's just the way that it works. People don't understand relationships, let alone breakups, and they're going to try and be there for you and be supportive, but I promise you, every day I'm putting out fires from friends and families, advice that just is not working and, if anything, ruining your chances of getting your ex back. So, believe me. I know it's a real struggle and you don't know me, you haven't met me, but I'm telling you, I'm very passionate about what I do. Reach out for me. Just go to the website and sign up for a coaching, AskCraig.net. I don't want you to continue to go through this alone. I want to be there for you and assist you through this because I know, I know what it's like. I know how difficult it is where you just know that any little thing that you do wrong could push them away for good. And believe it or not, I mean, that is what happens. A lot of times we have one small chance or opportunity that comes our way again. If you're not ready for it, they could, you know, really get turned off by you and completely move on. So let's clarify some of uh, the no contact rule and maybe this will help you, okay? So if you have been doing things in a relationship to turn your partner off maybe make them feel smothered or trapped maybe you were clingy or needy maybe you did some other behaviors that they really didn't like and they felt I need to distance myself I don't want to be around this person right now I need to be away from them by going no contact you're gonna ensure that you don't make things worse right um, so you need to do that because if you continue to reach out for them you're going to likely push them away even more and to the point where they may even file a restraining order on you. So um, 
it's a very basic strategy and I want you to help to help you understand it so like I said if someone breaks up with you you leave them alone and you let them come to you so that's one of the first issues about it the reason that I picked today's video to be on this is I have seen so many issues come up with this this past week where people's relationships have been like or completely gotten worse so I found three emails that I thought would be helpful to share about no contact the first one here is from a 29 year old woman who uh, who says uh, hi Craig I'm a 29 year old woman who is fortunate to find your channel about a week ago I have to say finally an, an actual expert with an education putting out unbelievable relationship advice. Well, thank you so much. Um, you have completely opened my eyes about relationships. I am embarrassed to say that before I came across your work, I purchased a guide from a so-called breakup expert. I should have known that it was going to be awful when the supposed value was $500 but he was selling it for $28. <laughs> that doesn't sound sketchy at all, right? Here's my $500 book, but I'm going to give it to you for 28 bucks. Yeah, I don't know who that is, um, but yeah, that sounds kind of sketchy to me. I mean, but if, if you found that that was truthful, I have a bridge that I could sell you. And it's a very lovely price. I'm going to give you a discount of $50 trillion. So just send me a check for $50 trillion and I'll sell you one of my bridges. I own all of them. And you can pick. Not sketchy at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. Uh, so let me go on. She says, after reading that awful nonsense, I wouldn't even say it was good for firewood. Ouch. I wanted to say, or I wanted to ask you a brief question about no contact. I stopped reaching out to my ex after he broke up with me. He reached out to me a few weeks ago, but I didn't reply because I was thinking no contact at the time. Oh, yeah. I see this one a lot. But now I haven't heard back from him. I'm really stressed, sad, and I think I blew my chances. I'm so confused. Do I stay in no contact? All right. If you're wanting to work things out with your ex and they reach out to you, don't ignore them. And I see this confusion a lot where you guys think that if it's no contact, you're not going to reply to them. But that's not the way no contact works. No contact is simply not reaching out for them. If they reach out to you, then yes, do reply. And, you know, every situation is different here as to what you should do and how you should handle that. But ultimately, you do want to reply. Um, so, let me make this clear. No contact means don't reach out for them. If they contact you, then you can contact them back, assuming you want to get them back. All right, here's a second email from Brent. He said, hi, Craig. So I screwed up big time. I feel you, buddy. <laughs> I was awful during my breakups. I learned the hard way. I just found your channel, and I have to say it's by far the best. Not just for breakup advice, but for relationship advice as well. Thank you very much, Brent. Um, I had been following someone else, and it really screwed me up. I waited 30 days, and then followed the approach of reaching out. My ex was very cold, and her answers were short. I had been waiting so long that I just had to ask her out, so I suggested we grab a bite to eat, and she never even replied. Okay. So, this is another common issue that I see. I do not teach a 30-day rule. 
I make it very clear, I do not teach any kind of rule for 30 days, any amount of days, okay? Somebody breaks up with you, you simply move on with your life and let them come to you when they're ready, okay? If they're attached to you, then they will. Um, so, yeah, the 30-day thing, I could totally see that would backfire because they weren't ready to hear from you yet. They were probably still emotionally charged, upset, angry, hurt, whatever. So they weren't ready to hear from you yet. And another big mistake that you made here was that, like you said, my ex was very cold and her answers were short. I had been waiting so long that I just had to ask her out. The other big mistake with that is you were using your ex as an object to soothe yourself. You weren't being considerate of what they needed or how they were feeling. You were only thinking, I want them back, I want them back, I want them back. And I understand, but you cannot treat your ex like an object to soothe you. You have to have some empathy. And when we have anxiety, we are in this fight or flight mode. We don't think about other people's um, desires or needs. And you have to be aware of that. When you're anxious, we often are very selfish in a self-preserved state and we don't consider what our partners need. And you were anxious, so you didn't care that they wanted space from you. All you cared about is how they were going to make you feel. You were going to get what you wanted. So this is a big, big issue for a lot of people. And I can help you with this. This is one of the areas that I can really teach you and work with you on things and helping you to be more aware of problematic behaviors and symptoms of trauma that are going on with you. Okay? So, you know, one way that I can even do that is if you sign up for an email coaching or Skype coaching especially because then I can really get in depth with you. Um, but even with the email coachings, I'm going to point out major issues that you're doing that are turning your partners off. All right? So, um, let me, the second point is that no contact is not a 30-day period. I don't want you to write a handwritten letter that says, oh, I'm so sorry, but, ugh. No. You know how many times I've heard the handwritten letter? I've tried the handwritten letter and now they're mad at me even more, blah, blah, blah. I put out fires daily, people. <laughs> Maybe I need a little fireman hat. My head. Putting out fires. All right. Let's see here. Um, I have a third email here who says, Hi, Craig. So I am new to your channel. I've just been watching your videos for about four days now and thought, what the hell am I waiting for? You are obviously an expert, and I need help. I am signed up for a Skype next week. My friend and I have been debating the different breakup channels on No Contact. Is No Contact really the answer? My friend swears it is, but she hasn't had a relationship last than more than two months. Okay. Like I said, guys, this is so critical to understand. No Contact is not the end-all, be-all solution to getting your ex back. And I realize that there's a lot of bad information out there that is causing you to think that way. But your relationship did not end because you had too much contact. So it's not going to get back together and magically repair itself because of no contact. This is one way that I look at it. Okay? When I was younger, my idiot stepfather had no idea how to work on cars. Right? He was bipolar, alcoholic, and he was a raving lunatic half the time. Whenever we had a problem with the cars, he would come outside screaming like a drunk maniac that we needed to put water in the battery. It didn't matter what was wrong with the car. His magical solution was water in the battery. The belt could break, the brakes could be bad, the transmission could be out, it didn't matter. It was, we were getting yelled at for water in the battery. 
One time we had a flat tire. He came out there, I swear to God, screaming at us, water in the battery. You can't make this up. I wish I had video, but we didn't really have smartphones back then to record this because I'd, I'd stick it right in the middle of this video and show you the water in the battery clips. So, what am I talking about? Water in the battery. He's not a mechanic, right? He doesn't know how to fix a car. He needed to get professional help. But he didn't. So what happened to him? He would break down on the side of the road all the time. It, you know, you, you have to realize that there are experts out there that can really help you. And that's what I'm here for. My expertise is relationships and breakups. And, you know, the, you know you're asking, is no contact really the answer? No, it isn't really the answer. It's no contact is going to simply be one tool to um, help you not mess things up even worse. But it's not really going to make things better. And it's not going to repair the relationship. And it's not going to know answer what went wrong in the relationship. Because like I said, it wasn't too much contact that caused the relationship to end. And no contact isn't going to repair that. I understand that there's been many, many years of no contact as the answer online, but none of those people that give that advice have any kind of education or background in psychology or counseling or anything like that. And it's just very frustrating for me because I know that there are many, many other factors that are affecting why the relationship didn't work out the first time. And that's what I want to do is I want to take a look at that and say, okay, here are your weaknesses. Here is what you were doing that caused your relationship to fail. I'm going to look at all those different factors and I'm going to teach you how to make your relationship weaknesses a strength. So when your partner does reach out to you, we have a plan in place for you to have corrective measures. And I like to really get you guys not just ready, but I would like to really over-prepare you because I know what it's like to only have one more chance with somebody. And, you know, many, many years ago, even though I was prepared, or so I thought, based on the information that was out there at the time, I wound up crying at Applebee's. And I'm not going to let that happen to you guys. If you stick with me, I'm really going to come up with a plan to tell you you've got to be aware of these mistakes, you want to look at these issues and you want to make these corrective actions because I want to over prepare you for your personal situation and that is what the coaching is going to do for you guys. So just go to the website AskCraig.net. Be careful with these common pitfalls with no contact. Like I said, no contact is not the answer. It's just a simple solution so you don't make things worse. Now if you want to get my help personally, just go to AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching that works best for you. If you like this video or you want to hear more um, videos about no contact, put a like on there and be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do post videos Monday through Friday. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I will talk with you soon.